Hi, I'm sure hope you have a great day. After the rain this morning, the severe thunderstorms, the mostly cloudy skies, and a little bit of a question if we were actually going to warm up enough today to reach the upper 70s and 80s, but the sky cleared on out, the sun came out, and yes, we did top out in the 70s and low 80s today. It's going to be a nice, quiet, and breeze, a breeze evening ahead of us. <laughs> I slept in afternoon showers and maybe a couple of spotty showers on into our Friday. We'll do it again on Saturday. I'll walk you through those details. Really not a big deal at all. I really don't think we're going to see a whole lot, maybe even a couple of morning showers on Friday. And then our next rounds of rain will start to head our way as we get into the next week. Yes, we're talking about more rain. Welcome to spring in the southeastern U.S. So enjoy the evening. And get out for a nice little stroll. We've been stuck with the severe weather, the clouds, the rain, the warm and muggy conditions, and it feels amazing outside, but it's going to feel even better uh, as we get into our Friday, Saturday, and Sunday time frame. So as we head into the evening hours, again, just partly cloudy skies, not a big deal. 7 o'clock tonight, we're doing A-OK. -okay. Overnight tonight, we're going to continue to see uh, clearing skies, so not a big deal as we get started on our Friday morning. Now, the only caveat is we'll have a few clouds. Notice a couple of showers swinging on through. We have a disturbance to our south. Do we actually see some light rain showers for the morning rush hour uh, or through the overnight hours? Here's the possibility. I think most of that, if we were to see much at all, would be south of Interstate 40. So don't anticipate a lot of rain, but of course, we'll keep an eye on it. It's not, nothing severe by any stretch of the imagination. A nice, comfortable start to the day. We'll be uh, back into the mid to upper 50s, a couple pockets of low 60s. Uh, those rain showers, if and when we do see those, we'll clear on out. We'll see some sunshine. Uh, and then as we get into the afternoon, maybe a couple of spotty afternoon showers. Again, I'm not expecting a whole lot of activity. We'll go about 20-30% chance for an isolated stray shower or two, but I think most of us will stay on the dry side. The winds will shift though because a cold front swings its way through. And here comes the nice dry air. The air is going to dry out, dew points drop, and it's going to make for a nice uh, wrap up to the week. Look at these temperatures on Friday. We may start off a little bit on the elevated side in the 60s, but we only climb into the low and mid 70s across the area. Maybe some upper 70s, Chattanooga about 77. We'll go 70 in Tri-City, 67 in Crossville, and we'll cut it in the middle. Right there at 73 degrees in Knoxville. So we sure hope you enjoy the rest of your night and enjoy your Friday. Now let's walk you through the weather forecast as we wrap up the week and get into the weekend. As we get into our Saturday, we're going to start off with mostly clear skies, okay? As we head through the afternoon, we got a disturbance swinging through, which I'll show you in the big picture here in a second. Maybe a couple of spotty light showers. I'm not expecting a whole lot of activity, but we do have events going on. We've got Southern Skies uh, Music Festival going on at uh, World's Fair Park. So we do have a lot of outdoor activities. Of course, the farmer's market is going Going on in downtown Knoxville and so many different farmers markets around uh, Easton as you see as well. So maybe a couple of spotty showers, but we're going to stay mostly dry for most of us. We'll be at 71 and then on Saturday we'll warm back, or excuse me, Sunday we'll warm back into the mid 70s. This is that little disturbance I was talking about. So here's Friday as it swings its way to the south and southeast Friday. That's going to take that system to our south and scoop it to our south, but that may bring us a couple of spotty showers. And then as we get into our Saturday, another eh, little uh, wave in the atmosphere again may spark off a couple of spotty light showers, but again, I think most will stay on the dry side. As we get into our Sunday, we'll have some ridging take place. That's going to help to warm our temperatures up a little bit, uh, and we're going to stay on the dry and sunny side. So Sunday is really going to turn out to be a fantastic day to get outside, enjoy the weather, uh, and some comfortable weather because the air is going to be on the drier side. Then we'll start to see the humidity start to increase again as our next little wave of energy moves its way in. As we get into our Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, that zips its way on now and then we'll see a couple more rounds of rain as we head into next week. So when you look at those rain chances, 20-30% uh, chance of rain Friday, Saturday. Again, most will likely stay dry. We're going to be dry on Sunday. Not Probably not much activity on Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday we're going to see those rain chances start to ramp back up. So let's walk you through that. Day by day, this is uh, information coming in from the Weather Prediction Center. So Friday, Saturday, again not much activity. Maybe a couple of spotty showers Saturday into early Sunday. But this is really what we're talking about is that next little disturbance swinging its way through Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then as we get into our Wednesday, Thursday, still another systems to our south that may help to pop off more showers. So generally speaking, I think a half an inch to about an inch of rainfall across the state of Tennessee over the next seven days. Uh, again, not a lot of activity all the way through from now through Monday, but then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll see those rain chances start to ramp up around the area. Temperature wise, it's going to be fantastic. Ah. We've been stuck in the 80s, it's been warm, it's muggy, that's what set the stage for severe weather. 
but now we're talking about some nice average weather on the way. Average high, by the way, is in the mid to upper 70s. Low temperatures, average lows are basically in the mid 50s, uh, generally speaking, plus or minus. And so some pretty average weather for low temperatures as well, at least through Monday. Then those lows start to come up. That's a sign of more moisture being added to the atmosphere. So dew points will come up. It'll be a little bit more muggy, but not nearly as muggy as it was, say, like yesterday. Uh, our dew points yesterday were in the 60s and 70s. And again, that's what set the stage for the severe weather event. So we sure hope you have a great rest of your night. Uh, thanks for checking in on your local forecast right here with East Tennessee Weather. If you don't have the East Tennessee Weather app, uh, just go to the Google Play Store or the App Store. Search East TN Weather All One Word. Go to YouTube, smash that subscribe uh, and the notifications button. Uh, we're also on Roku TV, Amazon Fire. We've got the website on all social media. Listen, this is Weather for East Tennessee, the one-stop shop for what you need every single day. Have a great night. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>